Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 6th of 2021, well, it is titled Windblown NGC 3199. So what do we see here? Well, this is a nebula known as NGC 3199 and is uh, a nebula associated with very young stars. And these are near are called a Wolf Rayet star, which are extremely massive stars that do not live a very long time and are quite unstable. So as they go through their short lives, they expel a lot of material outward. And that's what we're seeing here are some of the layers of that star bits of the star being expelled out into space. And then as they strike other material, they can be excited and energized and caused to glow as they shock the shock wave passes into other material. So that's what we see up towards the top here. That bluer color is where material is being excited from this shock wave as it hits other material. Now the question could be why do we not see it elsewhere in this image? Why does it look not so energized in other directions? And likely the reason is that there is more material up towards the top of this image. We often assume that things are relatively uniform out in space. But in reality, there are denser and less dense areas. And in this case, the denser areas would be where we're seeing significantly more shock waves, uh, whereas the less dense areas, the material can just expand out without much fuss and just zips out there and doesn't really interact with too much and heads out into a space. Now eventually a Wolf Rayet star is likely to become a supernova and will explode outward, creating another type of nebula from this which we call a supernova remnant. And that's the material left behind after the massive star explodes. Now what's going on within the star is that it is fusing lighter elements into heavier elements with through nuclear fusion. And that causes the star to eventually become unstable as it will build up to to iron in its core. Once it builds up to iron, it can no longer gain energy by fusion, and the, st the star will implode and then explode outward, destroying everything that we see here, and creating a supernova remnant with the outer regions of that star. However, this is still a relatively young star, and we could easily have uh, hundreds of thousands of years before that supernova would happen. So that was our picture of the day for May the 6th of 2021. It was titled Windblown NGC 3199. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.